Hello again, it's Angela here. This is part two of our kitchen uh, worksheets. And I just wanted to go over with you some more things from the kitchen. So we have here odd one out. Okay, so that means one of these things doesn't fit with the category. So, or the group here, the category or the group, it doesn't belong, it doesn't fit. So, we're going to cross out, just like this, one word that doesn't fit in. So, let's have a look. This one is chopping board, table, wooden spoon, and bowl. Now, table is crossed out because everything else is some equipment that we use in the kitchen. So, table is not really equipment. Okay. Next one is wash, cook, sweep, clean. Okay. What do you think? So, wash, cook, sweep, clean. Cook here is the odd one out because everything else is to do with cleaning or washing. So, wash the dishes, sweep the floor, clean the house. Okay, so cook is a different verb, isn't it? Okay, and it doesn't fit in, it doesn't belong in the group. Okay, next one. Mug, plate, bin, knife. Can you remember what they look like? So we drink tea from a mug. We use a plate to eat our dinner. We put rubbish in the bin. And we use a knife to maybe butter our bread or butter our toast. So bin, in this case, is the odd one out. Everything else is something that you can put in a drawer or a cupboard. They're things we use to eat or drink with. Okay, next one, number five. Bake, mix, empty, cook. What do we think? Bake, okay, bake a cake. You mix the ingredients and then maybe you cook. So all of these are to do with cooking or baking. This one here, no. Empty, so we empty the dishwasher, empty the bin, okay, things like that. So we pour something out and we empty it. We take the bin out, we empty the bin. So that doesn't belong. It doesn't belong to the group, so it's the odd one out. Okay, number six. Microwave, jug, kettle, toaster. Can you remember? Microwave, we all remember that. Jug, you can put milk in a jug, water, juice. Okay, kettle, we boil the kettle to make tea or coffee, and then our toaster. Any ideas? This is a tricky one. Okay, the odd one out is jug, because everything else you need electricity to use these, so the jug don't need electricity. That was difficult. Okay, just moving down then. We've got some kitchen furniture. Okay, so things that are in the kitchen. So match the words to the pictures. Okay, so we've got a shelf, a drawer, a cooker, a cupboard, a fridge, and a sink. So here we've got a list of questions. Okay, to go with those. Number one question, where do you put knives and forks? So if we have a look at our kitchen here, where do we put knives and forks? So here, 
number two. What do you think number two? It's a drawer or plural drawers. So where do you put knives and forks? In a drawer. Okay. Where do you wash the dishes? Okay, so in this kitchen, where do you wash the dishes? Okay. In a sink. So in or in the sink. Okay, because we only have one sink in the kitchen. So we can say in the sink. Where do you put the milk? In the that's right, in the fridge. Okay. Where can you boil water in a saucepan? Okay. On the, that's right, on the cooker. On the cooker. Okay. And where can you put plates and bowls? Okay. In a, up here in a cupboard okay so cupboard is just here so where can you put plates and bowls in a cupboard cupboard and you can see or hear the p is silent so it's cupboard cupboard where is a good place to put salt and pepper okay on a shelf on a shelf. So up here, one, two, three. Shelves. So we had that before. Singular, one shelf. Plural, shelves. Okay, with a V. Okay, very good. Moving down then. Next lot of questions. So, choose three of the things below and ask your partner about them. Okay, so we're not in class, so we'll have to, maybe if you could ask someone at home, how much time do you spend in the kitchen? What kitchen jobs don't you like? So you do not like. What kitchen jobs don't you like? What kitchen furniture do you have? What things can you cook? Is there anything that you don't have that you want in your kitchen? And what colours do you have in your kitchen? So you can choose three of those things and you can write those down and take a photograph or send me an email and say, for example, is there anything you don't have that you want? So I know this kitchens in Mosney are quite small. So maybe you don't have a washing machine in your kitchen and you would like that. So when you move to your new house, eventually you will have a washing machine in your kitchen. You won't have to go to the laundry. Uh, maybe you want a dishwasher, so the machine to wash all the dishes. So right now, you don't have that. Maybe you'd like that. So you can let me know and you can either write that down and send a photograph or send me something on email. Either way, love to hear from you and I hope you enjoy this. So talk to you soon. Bye bye.